Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Pot of Gold Picker. I just wanted to make a video about uh, what sold this weekend. It's Labor Day weekend. I had a lot of good sales. I think I'm up to 16 sales now for right at $700. So it's my best weekend I've ever had. Uh, it was really good and a lot of this stuff I have not had very long. Um, I bought it, I believe it was on Thursday. I went out garage selling and got a got some stuff and I mean it already sold this weekend so uh, made some pretty good money I'm right at $700 like I said uh, that's with my payouts I still got to do all the shipping and packaging and then you know after all that's done I'm sure I'll be around like 600 650 so not too bad uh, let's go over what I got so you see here I got a couple of VCRs I got these two at the same yard sale um, and then I have this uh, Magnavox DVD recorder um i can't remember where i got this i believe i got this at goodwill um then this sony playstation remote uh this is oem the translucent green um but yeah so uh this vcr i got this at a sale and i paid um i got two of them it wasn't this one it was another sony vcr that ended up not working it's over here um uh, so I got that VCR that sold and then this VCR. This one, you can put a tape in, but it doesn't play it. It doesn't eat it or anything. It just won't play it. It just spits it right back out. So I got that listed for uh, 20 bucks. Somebody made me a $15 offer, you know, just for parts. So um, I accepted the offer, waiting for them to pay. Uh, but back to what I actually sold. Uh, so this, like I said, I got that one and this one for $25. So it's $12.50 each. Um, I sold this one for $59.99 plus shipping. Um, somebody paid full asking price for that. Uh, I got this at another sale. I paid $10. That's a Toshiba uh, VCR. It has a remote and the manual with it. No box though. I paid uh, $10 for that. I sold that for $39.99 plus shipping. Uh, so it's just crazy. You can tell just the brand difference. Uh, Toshiba and Sony. The Sony one sold without a remote for you know $20 more. So I got this Magnavox DVD recorder at Goodwill for $4.99. I uh, plugged it in, tested it, it worked, so um, I sold that for $39.99 as well, plus shipping. Uh, this PlayStation remote, um, I got this, it's in really nice condition. I got this in a bag, it was at a thrift store that supports the Humane Society. So um, what I did is I, you know, I went to this thrift store and um, was looking around, I found a bag, it was like a duffel bag, and it had uh, this remote in it another black playstation remote and then that steering wheel and the foot pedals it's a logitech driving force it's like a feedback steering wheel for like playstation 2 or 3 or pc uh, i paid 10 bucks for the whole duffel bag um and i already sold like i said i sold this playstation remote for 24.99 uh free shipping on that uh now these movies i have cujo and all these terminator movies and then i have a bunch of movies in here um, that were in a big tote. I've already sold probably 15 other movies from that haul. Uh, that was from a garage sale I hit last weekend. Um, they were trying to get rid of a bunch of stuff. I went through all their movies. Uh, I got Halloween 1 and 2, some of like the first releases. I sold those for like $40 and $45. Um, yeah, I have Nightmare on Elm Street that's already shipped out. I sold so a lot of old horror movies and sci-fi movies were in there i paid ten dollars for like a big tote of them he, they just told me to fill up a tote um and you know give them 10 bucks that i could take as many as i wanted so uh, i've already made my money back just off of one sale so all this like i sold this terminator i mean sorry this arnold schwarzenegger lot um i sold this for 22 dollars at seven movies uh terminator one through three total recall predator end of days and conan the barbarian uh yes yeah, so i sold that for 22 dollars uh, Cujo was in that lot. I only sold this for four dollars plus shipping. Guy made me an offer on it. Um, so you know, like I said, it's still all profit. This evil movie I got this weekend at a thrift store in town. Um, I went through all their VHSs, and this was the only one I could find that was worth any money. Um, it's a rare, it's like from 1981. Uh, it was hard to find comps on it because when I would look it up, it was like you know, I would put the evil and they would bring up the evil dead. So uh, but I did find it. Uh, I sold that for $9 plus shipping. Uh, I got this P90X at the same thrift store that I got this movie at. I paid a dollar each for these things. Um, this would have sold for $30. I checked it when I was there. And uh, it has nine discs in it, I believe. 
but when I did check it this part right here when I flipped it I guess these pages stuck together so I thought it had all the disc it was actually missing the six disc the MMX the warrior one uh, so instead of selling it for 30 bucks I just threw it up there for $14.99 plus free shipping and it sold let's see what else we got this Sony it's a FMAM Walkman uh, like a tape player I got this at an estate sale a couple weeks ago um, it has some corrosion and you know it's kind of dirty and stuff uh, so I just sold it for parts uh, but even for parts this uh, sold for $20 I paid 50 cents for this uh, I got these TVs at the same sale I paid five dollars each for these these both work uh, this one actually has a remote with it and the power cables and everything with it um, so I, I bought these both for five dollars each uh, this one sold for ninety dollars plus shipping and then this one sold for forty dollars plus shipping so that was a pretty good deal um, I got these uh, magic the gathering it's like a deck it's like uh, from the 1998 world championship uh, it's a complete deck it is open but I paid I went to the Salvation Army and this was 50 cents but uh, I told them you know just you know round it up to a dollar or whatever so I gave them a dollar for that uh, this ink I got this week weekend as well um, it was a there's like a package of three boxes of ink like it was like in a little ziploc bag at the Salvation Army and uh, it was like three or two ninety nine so I got that one and then these two on the shelf over here for three dollars um, this one's already sold for twelve dollars and ninety nine cents plus shipping um, I got this it's a Starbucks mug it's got a little scooter on it, it says Starbucks over here um, got that at Goodwill for 99 cents so a dollar seven and they always ask if you want to round it up I said yes I paid two dollars for it but I sold it for uh, $14.99 plus shipping so all in all this weekend oh and I'm missing one thing that's at my house because I already had an offer on it I accepted it the guy said he's gonna pay for it on Friday so I kind of boxed it up I didn't like bubble wrap it and everything yet but I did box it up put it in a medium a medium box for a the USPS so um, he paid for it or he I accepted an offer they sent me he's like oh, I'll pay for this on Friday Friday rolled around never heard anything Saturday rolled around didn't hear anything so I actually canceled that order reposted it and then uh, somebody paid me full asking price for it $150 so it's a Nintendo Wii U uh, with the little gamepad and everything and it works so I sold that for $150 uh, this Cuisinart it's an electric cookie press. I got this at uh, the Humane Society thrift store. Um, they wanted 12 bucks for it. It was 75% all electron or uh, appliances, and so I paid three dollars for this. I sold this for 34.99 plus shipping, so that sold pretty quick for me. Um, yeah, so all in all, it was my best weekend ever. Um, like I said, it was my best weekend ever. Ended up making right at 700 dollars. So. Uh, and all together, I'd, I mean, I haven't done the math on it, but let's see, it's 10, 22, or let's just say $23, $28, um, I mean, no more than, and then the, the Nintendo Wii U, um, I've only paid, I think I paid $10 for that as well, sorry, there's some dogs barking over there, but, um, so I mean, all in all, I spent maybe, let's just call it a hundred bucks, you know, a hundred bucks on actual material or supplies that I sourced, uh, and I made, you know, I'm right at $700 now. So after I ship everything out, um, it should be around $650, 600 bucks off pocket. Um, so that, that's my best weekend ever, 15 items sold. Uh, this is pretty much all of my size on Nintendo Wii U. Um, and this is my little storage building, bear with me, I just got this thing. Um, you know, I'm trying to get everything set up. This is a mattress from our house. I gotta take it to my personal storage building. But um, yeah, you know, me and my wife, I said we live with our parents after getting out of the army we're waiting to buy a house uh, but with COVID everything was just kind of crazy and so we decided to wait so we're staying with them and we don't have much room there so I had to rent the stores building I don't have very much stuff um, I bought these shelves and stuff I got this free on the side of the road I was like that'll that'll do good for some storage um, you know we already had this shelf I think in the back and then this shelf was with the dresser so Got those shelves for free. Oh, I just made another sale, it sounds like. So let's see. Looks like I sold. See if you can see it. 
Yeah, I'm in a storage building, so I guess my service isn't good. Oh, the Muppet Show. Yeah, the Muppet Show is something I bought at a thrift store really cheap for like a dollar. And it looks like it sold for 10 bucks. So, and I believe that was free shipping too. So, I'll send that in media mail. And it's only $3 to ship. So, like I said, you know, you can do this. You can start out. You don't have to have, you know, a fancy storage system. You know, because, I mean, like I said, this is my daughter's dollhouse. This is a mattress from our house. Uh, I got some store stuff. I got clothes in the bottom tote down there. And then it's like a bunch of small items in the top tote. And I just got these brought over. Uh, their shoes and that, you know, basket. So like I said, you know, like just starting out, you can, you know, if you got like a small area in your house, you can store stuff. Um, you know, do that or, you know, like a storage building's only fifty dollars a month. So and I haven't done, I've been averaging like three, four hundred a month in sales, like every or every weekend in sales. Uh, like I said, it's my best weekend. I actually did seven hundred. So, you know, eventually the goal is to have this whole place, you know, filled with shelves and items to sell. But uh. You know, just starting out, you, I mean, I have 92 items listed and 110 sold. And I mean, I've been doing great. Um, you know, so you could do this, you can make money doing this. You don't have to have a lot of items. You just have to do your research when you go out. Um, like, I mean, this is a whisper mill. I've seen Osborne to Thrift pick some of these up. It's for like making your own flour and stuff. Um, I paid $9 for this at Goodwill. And it sells for 80. Um, got these this board game for a dollar fifty at the Salvation Army. It sells for 20. Um, I got these old board games. This is a Star Wars one from like the early or late 80s, early 90s. And this one I thought was funny because it says wrestling. But I got this game. Um, got them both at the uh, flea market on the weekends. I paid five dollars each for these. I got this one up for like 60 bucks, and this one sells for like 30. So. Um, oh yeah, and that game where I got the steering wheel, or that bag where I got the steering wheel, uh, this Game Shark bundle was in there. Um, it's like two disc, a manual, and this memory card. I was actually gonna like throw this away, but I thought you know I better look that up before I do. And uh, I looked it up, man, and ended up it ended up being worth uh, sixty dollars. So this whole setup sells for sixty dollars, the two disc and the memory card. So I got that up for sale. So yeah. I mean, you don't have to have, you know, fancy shelving system and organization and, you know, all that stuff. You could just kind of start out like I did, you know, in your room with the, I just had this one black shelf is all I had. And every item I would get, I'd, you know, find a place for it on here. Um, and then my wife's like, hey, we got to get this out of here. So rented this storage building, you know, made my first payment. Haven't lost any money on it. Um, like I said, this is all the stuff I have listed. Uh, pretty much everything you see i believe i have a i don't have this nintendo 64 listed i have this and two controllers and all the cords and everything it does come on but i don't have a game to test it so i don't want to sell it as untested because you know i won't get as much money for it so i'm waiting to find a cheap game i can throw in with it or test it out and see how it goes so you know to maximize my profit but yeah this is everything i've sold and uh like I said, it's my best weekend ever, so I wanted to give y'all an update. Oh, another exciting thing is I got a GoPro. So I've been, the first video I shot on my phone, I didn't like doing it, you know, especially like going thrifting, I wanted to do uh, sourcing videos, but it's hard to do with your phone because you're trying to record with it and then you're trying to scan with it. So uh, that's why a lot of this stuff I got last weekend, there's no footage of it because I didn't want to, you know, be recording, stop recording. Hey, as I was saying, I got a GoPro now. Uh, I didn't like shooting these videos with my phone, so I was able to find this GoPro for 200 bucks on Facebook Marketplace with you know, two extra batteries. Sorry, there's a lot of road noise here. But yeah, so I'm excited. Uh, I'll start making some more sourcing videos and you know, bring y'all along with me when I'm finding these items and kind of go through the process of what I'm looking for and uh, how I figure out what to sell. Um, so I'll do that from now on. Uh, I'll keep doing more of these what sold videos, um, showing you what I sold, telling you how much I sold it for, all that good stuff. So, and I'll keep you updated on the storage unit. You know, as we start filling this thing up with items to sell, and um, you know, start getting more organized, and you know, make it look all fancy and everything. Um, you know, we'll grow together. That's what I started this for, is to kind of show people how to grow doing this and make money doing this and you know that's the goal so if you enjoyed the video uh, like and subscribe you know leave me any comments on how i can improve these videos 
and uh, what I could do to, to make you stick around. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, just put them in the comments. And I appreciate you watching. And have a great week. You know, hustle hard, make that money. Take it easy.